I want to talk about something that may sound extreme. And please just follow me. If a demon was to come to you and give you a toy, would you play with that toy? Many of the same people would say no, because if you play with a demon's toy, you are going to get demonized, right? Like something bad is going to happen. Okay. <clears throat> what do you believe will happen if you play with like witchcraft things? Same thing you are going to get demonized because there are spirits in objects and things, right? What are those dolls called? Voodoo dolls? Like, would you ever keep one in your home? Why? <laughs> Perhaps or no. Not perhaps, but demons are going to be attracted to certain things, right? So I want to talk about your TV. And this may sound extreme, but if you really want to get rid of demons and other bad things that are happening in your life, you may want to take heed to this. Now, some things that we watch, we may watch some things that may seem harmless. You know, like for myself, I was really into anime, you know, like, I guess anime is kind of like cartoons and stuff like that, you know, certain cartoons. And... I liked watching TV series as well. You know, many of the time I liked to watch the medieval times, like TV shows that were about the medieval times. Very interesting. And, you know, yes, there were some cursing and, you know, some kissing and stuff like that. But, hey, I would think that it is not really a big deal, but we have no idea what people are placing in those cartoons, those TV shows and stuff like that. We have no idea on how it is playing in effect upon us. Does that make any sense? Usually if something is not of God, it is not going to help you serve God. It is going to deter you from God. So, you know, there are some people who say, hey, Kevin, you know, I continue to serve God, then backslide, go back into sin, serve God, then backslide, on and on and on and on. What are you doing that is taking you away from God? Is it music? Perhaps it is your TV because many of us, I would say that it is our TV. And like I said, I wasn't really watching anything crazy, you know, like off the wall crazy, like horror movies and stuff like that. I wasn't watching, what is that silly movie? Uh, I can't think of it. Not The Purge, but yes, the Saw series. You know, Saw 1, 2, 3, and 4. You know, all of that crazy stuff there. I was not watching that stuff at that time. But I believe, and from what I have heard from other people, I believe when you watch particular TV shows, 
that opens the best way I can say it that opens gateways for demons to mess with you and if you are anything like me you are tired of demons messing with you <laughs> I'm serious like with me I am tired of it so if you really want to change if you want demons to stop messing with you stop doing things that are inviting demons to you and you may say hey Kevin not watching TV is very extreme and I will agree with you but when it comes down to it do you want an easier time in serving God think about that give me a second Do you want an easier time serving God? I know I do. So, we have to shut off the known gateways that are open that demons are entering in. Does that make any sense? Like, we don't want to do anything that is going to continue to hurt ourselves. I pray that makes sense. So perhaps, hey, <laughs> what is the harm in trying it out? Like, you don't have to go cold turkey all at one time. Like, hey, let me just shut off the TV, toss it out, whatever. Try it out. Try it out for a day or two, three days, a week, and see if there is a change. What is the harm of that? I know for myself, when I first heard about it, I'm like, hey, <laughs> I am willing to, to try something to get peace. And let me say this. I believe that things been more peaceful ever since I stopped watching TV. Oh, yes. And video games as well. Like, don't play any video games, too. So TV and video games. And you may say, hey, Kevin, uh, you are crazy. Like, I can't stop playing my video games. How much are you willing to serve God? What are you willing to sacrifice? For myself, Man, when it comes down to God, yes, I like video games and TV and stuff like that. But when it comes down to God, man, like nothing really compares at all. And I don't want life to be more difficult than what it is already. If that makes any sense to you. Some people say that they want to change, but they are not willing to do what it takes. So if you can, try it out for a day up to a week. Don't play any video games and don't turn on your TV. Just have it off and you may say, well, I am going to be bored, Kevin. Like, <laughs> what am I going to do? Hey, you have more time to pray now. You have more time to read the Bible now. You have more time to minister to people now about God. So use that time to do those things. I know for myself, I have more time to pray now like so much more time <laughs> it's crazy but um yeah I pray that this makes sense turn off your TV stop playing your video games because you can say that hey you know this game seems really innocent but 
we don't know what effect or effect it really has on us. We really don't. I can say, you know, this shooter game here, hey, it is just a regular game, you know, like, how is it harming me? But in truth, so many demons are probably coming through that game and messing with you, and that is the reason why it is so hard for you to do things of God. Perhaps it is pushing you to porn and all this other stuff too. And you are wondering why, hey, what is going on? Your TV. Your video games. Cut it off. Try it out, please. It doesn't really hurt, right? To try it out. God bless.